Hey, look, I'm proud of you. Okay. Can you get me something for Africa? Sure, what would you like? Gummy bears. Gummy bears? Okay. <laughs> All right, go hustle. Okay. Have a good time. Okay. Kick butt. Mm -hmm. Kick they butt. My life plan, you know, and typically in my family's plan, you go to college, you get a job, you meet somebody, you get married, then you have a kid. I did not do that. Well, guess what? what? Number 22 is a hothead. What's a hothead? I feel like having a child that age really made me grow up fast. If I don't, it could be like your mouth guard. <laughs> It was tricky being, you know, 23 with a brand new baby and seeing all my friends out being in their 20s and I was at home being a mom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you gonna be all right? You'll get up and walk it off a little bit. Don't let it get to you, baby. You gotta get back out there. Of course, they're gonna come at you hard like that because they wanna win, but you wanna win more, right? I got one person that I need to do this for and keep in mind. And that's my son. It's the Mixed Martial Arts Hour. A lot of people very excited last week when the UFC announced that Katzingano would be fighting Juliana Pena at UFC 200. It seemed like every few weeks I was getting questions from fans. Where's Katzingano? Where's Katzingano? Well, now you have the answer to that question. She will return to action July 9th in Las Vegas at UFC 200. There's a switch. So the 9th of May was two months out. That day came, and now I can't. There's, there's no normalcy anymore, not until that fight is over. It's this weird mix between uh, nerves and anxiety and excitement and just this roller coaster where, you know, one minute I'm actually pissed at my opponent for thinking she can stand there in front of me, you know, and believes that she deserves to be there. And the next moment I'm like, what am I doing? <laughs> All right. Really wanted to have Kat on. She is kind enough to join us. It's great to hear that you're you're back in action. I was saying that I used to get questions every, you know, so often. Where's Kat? Where's Kat? When's she coming back? Is it nice that you can finally give people an answer, that you can stop getting those questions? Because I would imagine you were getting those multiple times a day. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's, it's nice to give people an answer. It's nice to come back and return. Like, I wanted to come back a stronger fighter uh, in every aspect of the word, and, and I feel like I can do that right now. Was there a specific reason why you were out for so long? Um... There's some specific things, you know, but um, nothing that I, I really want to bring up at this time. These are both journals that he wrote for me. Um, it's crazy because there's a huge difference in his writing when he's calm and when he's mad. I've always done my training camps in Colorado. It's where I'm from, it's my home. But after everything that's happened to me here, it's become way too much of a ghost town. I need to do everything that I can to get ready for this fight in the most optimal way possible. Unfortunately, that's not here. I have decided to go to San Diego for an entire training camp, eight weeks. All right, we still gotta go get a couple of things. This camp is gonna be very different because of the separation. Leaving him makes me nervous, being on my own and away from him makes me nervous. Uh, we're both very much still going through things that we need each other for, but right now this is what I need to do and I have to be all in in order to be safe and to be successful. 
I have to be okay with this because this is how I make a living.